Welcome to our kitchen. Today we will talk about inverse relationships in measurement. Brutus, what does inverse relationship mean? Inverse relationships in measurement simply means the shorter the unit of length, the more units it takes to measure an object, and the longer the unit of the length, the fewer units are needed to measure the same object. Well, that is as clear as mud. Let me show you an example. We have two different sized paper clips. Let's measure Miss Piggy's mail. It takes two large paper clips to measure the mail. It takes four smaller paper clips to measure the envelope. I see it took fewer large paper clips to measure the envelope because they are bigger than the smaller paper clips. Exactly. Let's measure the length of a spatula. This time we will use a ruler. We will measure the spatula in inches and centimeters. Here is the size of a centimeter and here is the size of an inch. What unit do you think is going to have a larger number? Let's see. Inches are larger than centimeters. What we have learned about inverse relationships tells me there will be more centimeters because they are smaller than inches. We are going to measure and find out. The spatula measures four inches and it also measures eight centimeters. I was right. There are more centimeters than inches because the centimeter unit is smaller than an inch unit. Just remember the larger the unit of measurement, the less you need to measure an object. The smaller the unit of measurement, the more you need to measure an object. Thanks, Brutus. I am going to look for more things to measure. Good luck.